Hi and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Phelan. Our cameraman is Henry. Today we're going to show you the Palomino HS8801. A uh, couple things before we get started. We do stock this two ways. Uh, this version here would not have the side rear awnings and then we also stock it with the side and rear awning. Also, uh, we do order it in the cool gray versus the white. So there is a white exterior option if you'd like that. But the reason we order in the cool gray is the difference in the fiberglass. This is a heavy duty gel coated fiberglass. It's much thicker. The white is more of like a phylon thinner uh, fiberglass where you can actually see the fibers in the fiberglass. And also the white does show your black streaks much quicker than what the gray does. Also the 8801 uh, does fit on a three quarter or one ton truck with a five and a half or sorry six and a half foot and eight foot bed so three quarter one ton six and a half or eight foot bed we'll go ahead and get started here in the back you do have your fold assist grab handle at the entry door along with your friction hinge door here uh, this does not have the latches like we've had in the past so it is to withstand 20 mile an hour winds and will stay right there where you put it it does have your separate screen door as well porch light right here and above the porch light you'll see the other black bracket that is for a backup camera so if you are towing a trailer or boat uh, you can it is prepped and ready for the backup camera very easy to uh, add on roof ladder so it does have a walkable roof for you uh, you have the electric jacks already uh, on here for you this is an upgraded option and you can run each jack individually. So you have the four jacks here, so you can lift and lower. And once it is level, the yellow buttons here runs all four together. So you can run all four individually, or if you wanna do the back two or the side two, however you wanna raise and lower it. Water heater is on-demand water heater. So you have pretty much instant hot water and endless hot water. And the nice thing about this, it is 60% more efficient than what they've used in the past. Uh, outside shower does have your hot and cold along with your shower head uh, coil hose. And then down below here, we do have your dump station. So you can get in here, you'll have the black valve for your toilet and the gray valve in the back for your kitchen sink and your shower. Furnace vent here, uh, it is a 20,000 BTU furnace. It does come along with this. You have a cable satellite hookups, outside reset, 30 amp connection. It does come with a separate detachable cord. Um, it's not one that you're pulling out and pushing in, taking away from storage from the inside. That is included. And then you have your city water connection and your fresh water connection. Fresh water is if you are boondocking or dry camping. You can fill your freshwater holding tank through this port, turn on your water pump switch on the inside for your water supply. If you're at a campsite, you can connect your water hose to this port for your water supply. As we move around here to the front, you'll also see there's a seven way plug right here that is identical to what's on your truck. So this cord is also included. It's a double seven way that will go back inside the bed and you plug it into the seven way on your truck. So this here is what runs your um, clearance lights, your tail lights, and also will charge your onboard battery while you're traveling. So whether you're plugged into your truck or whether you're plugged into 110 on the side, it will charge your onboard battery. You also have a solar uh, panel port. So if you have a portable solar panel, uh, you can alligator clip to this port to also maintain your batteries on board. And then you have a battery disconnect switch at the top. So if you are putting the unit into storage for the winter and don't want your batteries to drain, you can disconnect the battery with that key. Uh, one more thing I do want to point out, if you do stop at, let's say, Walmart parking lot for the night, uh, we do recommend disconnecting this uh, plug right here. There's a port over here to stick it into. That way, it, if for some reason you have a bad battery and it uses it up, it will also drain your truck battery if you leave this plugged in. Okay, we're gonna move around to the front now, show you the front cap. They do have the new front caps now with the window in the front. Uh, this is actually not a window, I say. It's more like a windshield, so you will not be able to open that. It's a uh, very nice look on the front. Pre-molded fiberglass front cap. Not a whole lot on this side. You have your blue LED uh, lit speakers on the outside. 
You do have the frameless windows. I do have this one open so you can see you can open your frameless windows for cross ventilation. Reefer vent here. Uh, and then right here we have your LP compartment. So you do get the two uh, 20 pound LP tanks and those will be filled by the Outpost RV for you. Down below, uh, this is one thing I failed to mention. You do have this, what I call a wing right here. If, okay, I said this fits on a six and a half or eight foot bed truck. So if you have a six and a half foot bed, your bed rail will stop right in front of this wing and you can close this off for storage compartment. If you, however, if you have an eight foot bed, your bed rail will come back into this cavity and therefore you cannot use that. I believe that concludes the outside of the Palomino HS8801 and now we'll move to the inside. Right inside your entry door is where your remote is for your electric jacks on the outside. You'll also have your on and off switch here. This does need to be turned on for your remote to work, so you do need the green light to be showing. There's also a cord that does plug into this port and the top of your remote, which is a charge cord. So that is only to charge the battery in the remote. You do have a little step stepping into the bathroom. I guess we'll step inside, show you around a little bit, and then we'll get started. So we have your kitchen to the left, your dinette to the right, and your bed in the cab over. We're going to swing around here and get started inside the en entry door is your refrigerator. This is a three-way refrigerator, so you would have your gas, electric, uh, sorry, this is just gas and electric. It does not have the 12 volt open this up show you the inside a lot of nice storage air and then at the top you'll have your freezer compartment that will open for frozen foods overhead cabinet above the dinette you do have not a lot of nice storage in this 8801 you have speakers underneath on each end as well as up in the cab over so pretty good sound in here and then you have your control panel so this is where your porch light, your interior lights, your water pump switch, and then also where you check the levels of your black and gray tank and your fresh water and your battery. Swinging down to the dinette, this has the jackknife sofa along with your table and pedestal base. You do have a little bit of storage underneath the base of your pedestal down below for some storage for the pedestal itself. And I will try to show you the jackknife sofa. You can also look at the pictures on our website, uh, but this jackknife sofa is very easy to use. I'll remove the tabletop here. This might be a little bit more challenging than I thought. Okay, the table pedestal, you twist to unlock. Lay that down here and then you can see I'll just pick up the uh, sofa and that lays down for a sleeping arrangement. At each end of the sofa you do have a cup holder and a USB port for charging phones. Then right here your step up into the bed area this cavity is where your freshwater holding tank is in. Uh, your battery uh, would be in there, water pump and that sort of thing. Down below is your uh, converter box, your breakers and fuses, your uh, LP carbon monoxide detector, and a receptacle. Stepping up into the bed area, we do have a privacy curtain. We have the full-size residential queen, so you have your uh, 60 by 80 mattress. There you can see the window in the front cap, or your windshield, that does have a privacy curtain there as well. Storage on the right hand side, some cabinet drawer. Underneath the drawer is also open cavity. And then we have foot lockers on each side as well. USB ports and receptacles in the front cap. We also have your three speed uh, create a breeze fan in the ceiling above the bed as well. That does move a lot of air. So very helpful if you wanna just uh, rotate some fresh air inside. Stepping back, I'll show you the kitchen and entertainment area. 
at the kitchen base, you do have storage right here. So you have the cabinet door. You have a tip out drawer right here. And then this is your control panel for the water heater. So you can adjust your temperature and turn it off and on. At the kitchen sink, you do have a sink cover. This is a roll up sink cover. So you can roll this up out of the way. Uh, also use it as a drying rack and that would be a single bowl stainless steel sink. Thermostat right here to operate the furnace. Entertainment center, you also have some cabinet storage, cubby storage underneath the stereo. That is a DVD player as well as Bluetooth. And then up above is where the TV would mount. You also have all the connections there ready to go along with a charging center as well. Overhead cabinet storage, microwave, range hood, and then you have your uh, stove top. Uh, this has a bifold cover uh, that covers the top and that is a three burner stove top. Also have your oven. And then your furnace would be direct dump so it is not ducted. It would be direct dump into the, the your uh, living area. Pantry here also has a wardrobe rod at the top along with your adjustable shelves. And there you can see is both your power cord and your double seven way mail cord. Okay, last but not least, stepping back to the bathroom area. We do have what they call a wet bath. So you do have your toilet shower combo a storage area underneath your sink, nice large countertop, sink, medicine cabinet, and a skylight. And then also you have your shower curtains in there as well. So I believe that concludes the inside of the 8801. We'll do one more brief walkthrough for you. Again, we are the Outpost RV. You can contact myself or Henry or Jeremy at 866 Three three eight nine eight four five. Again, my name is Phelan, and thank you for watching.